it's incredible the, the, the way you start the story in the middle, uh, as if there's a predestined amount of poverty, a predestined amount of unemployment, and that the welfare system is not itself in any way responsible there for is that. A you mentioned, for example, the female-headed household. Many of those, in addition to the, the grown woman who has all the, all the kids, are teenage pregnancies. Right. Uh, there's not a predestined amount of teenage pregnancy. I grew up in an era when people, and particularly blacks, were a lot poorer than today, faced a lot more discrimination than today, and in which the teenage pregnancy rate was a lot lower than today. I don't believe there is a predestined amount of teenage pregnancy, a predestined amount of husband desertion. Uh, the, uh, Gutman has done a study of the black family, showing that this whole notion that this is, the black family has always been disintegrating, that that is nonsense, that his, his studies go up to 1925, the great bulk of black families were intact, two-parent families up through 1925, and going all the way back through the era of slavery. So it is now only within our own time that we suddenly see this inevitable tragedy which the welfare system says it's going to rush in to solve.